Uh, I mean, a dream come true. You know, a thing that I've visualized many, many times. So it was definitely a great experience. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Very good. Well, can you walk me through that? Uh, actually, you know, I ran the play. Ended up, you know, getting knocked off my route. You know, I had to uh, keep fighting through the play, get on the other side of the of the uh, linebacker, and then Malik just found me, and the rest is history. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't kind of the only, you know, the only I mean, all I can say is it's it's awesome. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's it's awesome. Um, I mean, you know, obviously we, we want to score more touchdowns, and obviously we want to score more points. But uh, yeah, it was great being a part of that scoring drive. Um, just keep going, you know, take it one day at a time. We're still in training camp. We still got Arizona coming in. So just taking it one day at a time, one step at a time, and we'll take it from there. From your perspective, what you can see, at least when you're running your rounds, how would you say that Malik had always progressed tonight? Um, yeah, he definitely uh, progressed uh, very well tonight. He, Joe, he just stepped, stepping up in the pocket. You know, this, he was trying to keep his eyes downfield at all times. So I, I definitely think he definitely took a step in the uh, right direction. What's this weekend in store for you practice-wise? What else Shoot, everything. I mean, everything from from the tight end perspective, everything from special teams perspective. I still got a lot of work to do. I'm still very raw around the edges. So for me, it's just trying to improve on everything every single day. Uh, that's my goal. Uh, real big, real big. <laughs> so um, again, like I said before, kudos to Weaver and the rest of the D-line. The pressure they got on there, um, able to pressure the quarterback and make him throw a bad ball. I was able to go out there and get it. Um, and the rest is what happened. We'll talk about Rashad in a second. But yeah. On that play, are you thinking, all right, it's coming right at me. I'm not going to drop this. Yeah, yeah. Happen. No, um, last week I had an a opportunity to make a decent play on the quarterback and decided to jump and, and missed out on that. So this was one I uh, definitely had to get back and make sure I made a big play this week. Um, it was nice for me to get a nice little revenge pick um, against them for playing with them last year. I got a pick six with them last preseason. So this was kind of nice to, to get that one. A little love to get it in the end zone, rubbing it in a little bit more. But this was this was nice. Showed some speed, though. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, you know. <laughs> 250 and can move like that? I don't know. But no, I mean, like I said, it's all kudos to the guys up front. And then whoever, I'm not sure who it was, but whoever blocked for me up front as well, I appreciate it. So. How do you think this kind of helps you, you know, get something on tape and as you continue to stack days for your cause here? Yeah, I mean, this is this is what it's all about. Prison is all about obviously showing what you can do out there on the field, given not just here, but there are 31 other teams the chance to see what you can do um, and, and find a role somewhere. Hopefully, I want to stay here. I love it here. Uh, hopefully, I can stay here um, for my second year, but um, um, it is what it is, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, and one more thing about Rashad. I mean, he was kind of a maniac out there. Man, night. that kid is ridiculous. Yeah. That kid is an absolute animal. So glad he's on my side right now. Hopefully, again, I stay here and he can stay on my side. Love the kid. Good kid. Um, works his butt off. So, yeah. Thanks. Make one man miss, and, you know, you usually come down pretty fast. So it could be just one step. And then, um, yeah, kind of like I said earlier, it's uh, truly the punt return. You know, you know, I got to give all the credit to them. They're the ones who have the tough position making those tough blocks. So, you know, they're really the ones that made the return hit. You got your catch tonight, too. To yeah, it was, it was, it was nice to get change. the first one in, you know, so building a little bit of confidence in that. As, a, as far as the return game goes, how much do you enjoy that part of the game? And what do you guys feel like you have to What, what yeah, makes yeah. somebody successful doing that? Uh, I feel like the biggest thing that makes someone successful is, you know, having good coaches and good teammates, you know. Um, like I said in that previous question is the credit's got to go to the punt return unit. You know, they're the ones in a tough position making those tough blocks. You know, my job is... You know, while it's scary to catch the ball, it's pretty easy. I just have to make one man miss and then, you know, read their blocks. Did you feel like you had a Did you guys need Weaver? He's getting ready to talk over at TSU. Had you been able to keep your balance? Say that one more time. On the big return, it looked like you lost your balance. Did you feel like there was some more there that could have stayed up? Yeah, if, uh, you know, I kept my feet, maybe could have scored, but uh, it is what it is. Kyle, are you going to get some security from us this camp being in the slot? Oh, yeah. What, what, what has stood out about him? He's a, he's a technician, you know, great DB. Um, He's not going to bite on every move. You know, he's going to sit back, and, you know, he's also very physical. Puts his hands on you and makes makes releasing, you know, catching the ball very difficult. I would imagine it's a pretty good matchup. Oh, yeah. For two rookies, but uh, what, would you guess he was a rookie? It doesn't look that <laughs> way to us. From my not at all, you know, just how he carries himself um, and how he plays the game of football. You know, you watching him, how he practices, how he plays, you, you wouldn't be able to guess he's a rookie. Um, happy that we won. Defense played great. Defense played lights out, and uh, 
you know, it's good to be back here at Nissan Stadium and get a W. Yeah, yeah. What did Coach, Mike mentioned it last week, I guess, about how he's giving up snaps between you and the league and how that works. For you in preparation-wise, preparation what does that do for you? It doesn't change. Yeah. You know, um, just whenever I get an opportunity to go out there, I'm going to try to make the most of it. Um, whether, like I said, it's in the first quarter or in the third quarter. You know, I'm, I'm just grateful for this opportunity that the Titans have given me. And just try to go out and have fun and, and execute, you know, when I get that chance. I got you. What happened on the throw to, to Traylon? I know you got hit. Did yeah. Kind of take some of the steam I think it did a little bit. Uh, I'm not trying to make any excuses or anything, but just try to give him a chance. And obviously, it just didn't work out for us. Um, you know, Traylon's been making a lot of plays for us, so I want to give him a chance. And just got hit a little bit while I threw it, and they made a good play on it. It happens sometimes. What's your approach, I guess, over the last week going uh, into the final preseason game? I think my approach has been the same. Just try to try to find a way to get better each and every day, try to define my role on this team, whatever that is, and, and just enjoy it. You know, been enjoying being around these guys, and uh, it's been a fun camp for sure. Um, you know, we had some errors um, here and there, um, but, you know, and, we're able, we were able to go out and um, get the victory, um, you know, and just come back Monday and, um, you know, fix the corrections that we need to fix. You had a reception tonight. How confident were you feeling tonight and your overall thoughts on your performance? Um, I just say, um, um, you know, I'm always prepared, so I don't have to get prepared. So um, when my name's called, you know, I'm, I know that, you know, I'm able to make a play whenever the ball's coming to me, so. You mentioned kind of coming off that first preseason game, how important it was to, to soak up everything from that first game, put it into work and practice, and then apply it to game two. Did you feel like you did that that week? How was your transition from practice to today? Um, I would say it was a, it was a big step for me, um, just going out there and playing fast and physical. And, um, you know, that was, those were the things that I needed to work on. And so I th think I did so. You also mentioned one-on-one -on -one matchups. Did you feel like you did a little bit better with your one-on-one? -on -one um, I could say I, it, there's some stuff that I still need to work on with that. Uh, but overall, you know, just glad we got the team win and, you know, hooray. <laughs> and is there one thing specifically you really want to hone in on this week going into this final preseason game? Um, basically the same things. Um, just going out, being uh, fast, physical, fearless, and just playing for the team.